The theme feature is a quick way to apply complementary fonts and colors to your report. So instead of you doing the guesswork, like let's say you like the color for the report title here, but you don't like the banded color between each record to be this light shade of gray, maybe you want something else, but not so different that it's jarring, you know, between the, the two colors here. You want something that's complementary. Or also for the fonts, maybe for your labels, you want one type of font and then something else that's different down below for your records, but not so different that again it's jarring to look at or read. In any case, if you want some help when it comes to changing this up for colors or fonts, then go ahead and right click on the tab and you can go to the layout or the design view. Go to the layout view, it's on the design tab in the themes group, right click, same thing for the design view, go to the design tab in the themes group. So you have your themes, which is a combination of both colors and fonts, or if you just want to change the colors for the report, you can look at that or just the fonts. But let's do themes first and you can see down below you've got your different combination here like this one's facet and you can see when I hover over it you get a preview of it well not now because I moved off of it let me go back and do some hoverage and you can see well there you go that one's called ion boardroom now once you select it you're stuck with it I mean even if you close out of it and you say okay I don't want to save it when you double click to open it back up you see you're stuck and the only way to go back to the way it was is if you knew what it was before you made the change, which fortunately I do. In any case, here you go. It made the font type for the labels, well, here, pretty big. It looks like across the board. I can't really tell the difference here. In any case, I'd have to resize those fields, clean it up a bit. And this was purchasing info. The FO got cut off, so I may have to do a little work. Instead of doing that, if I right-click and go back to, well, it doesn't matter, layout or design, just make sure you're on the design tab so you can go to the themes group. You can click on the themes drop-down arrow and go back to the way it was, which was office. There you go. Now you can do it that way, or if you just want to mess with colors, click on the drop-down arrow, hover over any one of these that you like and select it, and well, there you go. You can right-click and click on print preview, and eh, I'm okay with that and then right click go back to doesn't matter layout or design you can do colors or you can do fonts and you've got two different combinations of fonts you have it for your well that's not a good example because it has both Calibri for the headings and for the body of the font Calibri just a smaller size how about something that's entirely different like there you go you have Calibri for the headings and then Cambria for the body and you can see over here for your uppercase A, that represents Calibri for your headings. And then for the body of the report, just the details, you get Cambria. So if you like that, go ahead and select that and take a look. And if you're like, oh, I just don't like any of this. Well, remember, you can always come back up here, click on themes and choose the default office themes. And we're back to where we started. Now, if you want to go ahead and create your own custom colors or fonts, click on colors. I've already created one here. It's called Spiffy which by the way, you can right click on it to edit it or delete it. Let me come down here and click on custom colors and here you go. You have your theme colors and the sample. So you've got light text against the dark background and dark text against the light background. So the black here, text background dark one, is for it over here, what it looks like when you have a light background. Do you want it to be black text or do you want to change that and say, well, let's do red. And there you go. So you can do that just by comparing contrasting between what you select over here and the sample preview here. And your accents will represent things like, well, your charts and some of your objects. So this accent blue is the first column in the column chart here. If you insert the column chart, you can play with that. When you're done, you can, of course, go ahead and give it a name, Spiffy2, and then go ahead and click Save or hit Enter. And, oh, look at that. It's got all my text in red. Oh, I don't like that at all. In any case, if you don't like it, remember, you can go ahead and go to your themes and go back to Office. But before we do that, let's go to Fonts and really try to mess this up and do Customize Fonts. So you get your two. For your headings in your report, you can change that and do something like Monotype Corsiva. Ooh, that's a fancy font. Hit the Tab key. And there's the sample heading. Then Calibri. I'm good. And then the name of it is something fancy. Hit enter to save it. 
And I don't have any headings in my report. That's why I don't see the monotype course of us, so it doesn't look like it's pulling. But just to be sure, right click on the tab, go to the print preview, and if you're good with it, print it. If not, then you know the drill. Let's right click, go to the layout view or design, and then click on the themes drop down arrow and go back to office. And well, let's right click to print preview, and ah, we're back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.